circle. I thought we were doing this. All right. No, we're not going to do that. We're wrong. Uh, in a circle. I do want to go over this just so for some reason if they ever ask you this, you'll know. Using what we know about special right triangles and trig trigonometry, um, we can create all the inside parts of the unit circle, okay? When we graph sine, when we graph cosine, and we did some problems back on Tuesday, you know, you just use 90 degrees, 180, <coughs> 270, zero. You just use the um, axis points. There are points that are in between each one of those, and that's what we're going to do right now. So, these special right triangles do play a role in all of this, okay? So you have it right above your circle for easy access, okay? Y'all remember these? Vaguely, vaguely. Sine is what over what? Opposite, opposite over hypotenuse. Opposite over hypotenuse. Hypotenuse is the segment that's located where? The opposite opposite, opposite of the 90 degree angle. Opposite of the 90 degree angle. Adjacent means what? Next it's the side next to your angle, and opposite clearly is across from your angle. Okay? So, looking at this unit circle, this small angle right here, whoa, what? This the small one right here, represents 30 degrees. Okay? Now, if you look at your 30 degree, the 30, 60, 90 degree triangle, that's on your paper, where the 30 is in that same spot, what is your opposite side? Two. One. One. Oh. One. What's your adjacent side? Two. Two. No, it's a square root of three. Square root of three. Oh, okay. And your hypotenuse is what? Two. Two. Now, do you guys remember what was the x coordinate? Yeah. No, no, no. Um, in the sense of like sine and cosine, the x coordinate was always what? One. Cosine. What's the cosine of this angle right here? Cosine is what over what? Uh, adjacent over hypotenuse. So what's the adjacent side? Square root three over two. And the hypotenuse is two. That is the cosine of thirty degrees. Square root of three over two. So we have to find, oh. Sine is what over what? Uh, opposite What's your opposite side of 30 degrees? One. What's your hypotenuse? Two. So the sine of 30 degrees is one half. And that is the ordered pair that goes with the 30 degree angle. I like what we did last time a lot better. Okay. What do you mean every time? Always. Like always, 30 degrees? Yes. These Everything that we're about to create is, is permanent. It's never changing, never fluctuating. Okay? So if I ever ask you, okay, well, what's the sine of 30 degrees? You guys can now tell me that it is the, it is, it's one half. It is the y value of that point. What's the cosine of 30 degrees? Square root of three over two. What degree was this right here? Zero. Zero. zero degrees. What was the ordered pair for zero degrees? Zero. One zero. One zero. One zero. One zero. What's the cosine of zero degrees? One. Like the line thing? Zero. Now, what cosine is what coordinate? X. Your X. So what's the cosine of zero degrees? One. One. What's the sine of zero degrees? Zero. 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 Okay? Let's move forward. What is the next angle you think? The 45 degree angle. 45 degree angle. Okay? So this is 45 degrees right here. This is another angle that's within your unit circle. All of these that we're doing are within your unit circle. Okay? What are the look at the 45, 45, 90 degree triangle? What is this opposite side? One. One. What's the adjacent? One. One. I'm looking right here at this 45, 45, 90 degree triangle. <coughs> What's the hypotenuse? Square root of two. Cosine is your x coordinate. Cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse. What's your adjacent side? One. What's your hypotenuse? Square root of two. Can I have a square root in the bottom? No. How do I get rid of it? You, 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 multiply by square root. 
square root of 2. The top and the bottom. When I multiply straight across, was 1 times the square root of 2? 1 times the square root of 2 is the square root of 2. Square root of 2 times the square root of 2 is? Square root of 4, which is? 2. So your cosine of 45 degrees is the square root of 2 over 2. Sine is opposite over hypotenuse. What's your opposite side? 1. What's your hypotenuse? So I'm making the same situation, correct? That we already rationalized? So it's the exact same thing. And this is the ordered pair for 45 degrees. So if I ever asked you what is the sign of 45 degrees, you would tell me? Square root of 2 over 2. If I asked you what is the cosine of 45 degrees, you would tell me what? Listen, what if I asked you what is the sign of 30 degrees? One half is the y coordinate of the 30 degree angle. What is the cosine of 0 degrees? One. One. Cosine is what value? Y. X. And sine is your? Y. Y. If you have not written that down yet, then maybe somewhere you put cosine, sine. So that way you know if you ever forget. Okay? Last one that we'll probably get to is the last angle, which is 60 degrees. I know I'm like drawing all on top of this, but hopefully you guys can see. What is the side opposite of 60 degrees? What is the adjacent? One. What's the hypotenuse? Two. Cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse. So what is one over two? And sine is going to be what? Square root of three over two. Because again, sine is the opposite over the hypotenuse. My opposite side is the square root of three. My hypotenuse is two. So there is the ordered pair for 60 degrees. And those stay the same no matter what. Those are the inside points and degrees for the first quadrant in your unit circle. What do you have anything to do with like the graph itself? Like if I wanted to go more into detail, like go in between like pi over two and zero, this is where those values would be. Are we ever going to have to do that? No. So that's why we get the big ones. 64 times 30, you should memorize those? Uh-huh. They're just the opposite, right? Yeah, like these are just the opposite of those, and these are the same. Okay. Yes? So that's why in the beginning where they have some more. That's yep. how you got those courses. Uh-huh, exactly. Why can't they do this in the beginning? Because I don't know how long it's going to take. What's this degree right here? 90. 90. 90. What was the order pair? One, zero, one. Zero, one. Now, this was just one quadrant right here. Okay? But the exact same ordered pairs get reflected over the y-axis. Okay? The exact same ones. So if you look right here, like if I were to draw a horizontal line over right here and created another right triangle, this would be 30 degrees away from what angle is this? So what's 30 degrees away from 180? Um, 150. So this is the degree, 150. This ordered pair is the exact same ordered pair as 30 degrees, except yeah. which one? The X is negative. X is negative. How did you know that? Because you flip it across the Y axis, so it changed the X to negative. Exactly. And what we'll quadrant? I'm in the second quadrant. In the second quadrant, are my x values negative? My y value is what? The same. One half. How did you draw that? Right here. This angle is 45 degrees away from 180. What's 45 degrees away from 180? 135. This ordered pair is the exact same ordered pair as 45 degrees, except the x, the x is negative. And the last one. This angle is 60 degrees away from the 180. What's 60 degrees away from 180? 
120. What's this ordered pair? Negative one half. Negative one half? Yeah. Because the square root is two. So there's your second quadrant. If I asked you what is the cosine of 135 degrees, you would tell me? Negative 2 over 2. Negative 2 over 2. What about the sine of 120? What would you tell me? Square root of 3 over 2. And what is the sine of 150? 1 half. You see how it works? And I can keep and continue this pattern all the way through the third quadrant and the fourth quadrant. Okay? And then to your fact, you just minus a little bit back. Like you would minus, uh, what, like 30 from 2 seconds. You would add. You would, well, to get the, for, the, for this one, like yeah. you would actually, like you get that degree. Well, there. You would actually add 30 to 180. You would oh, add 45. Uh -huh. Okay? So what I want you guys to do between, you know, between today and Monday, Go ahead and finish up the rest of the unit circle, okay? Also, if you want an opportunity for extra credit, just like we converted all the main points to radian, you remember how we converted 90 degrees to radians, 180 to radians? If you come in one day during H2H and you convert the entire unit circle into radians without your calculator, and depending on how well you do, we'll give you some extra credit. Okay. Remember what the conversion is, and then, actually, over and then actually come in and do it. The, the trick is you got to come in and do it. Okay, that's the hard so, part. That's the hard part. <laughs> All right.